Looking at the front panel of the subharmonic generator, from left to right, we have a CV input that controls the frequency of the master oscillator, below that a passive input that connects to a foot pedal. These are used to switch the subharmonic mixtures which are displayed by the three vertical columns of LEDs. Below that, a switch to select the upper or side generator, more on that later. Next are the tuning controls, at the top an octave selector with a three octave range, below that a coarse tuning pot, followed by one for fine tuning, and at the bottom a tuning control for the side oscillator. The aforementioned columns of LEDs are marked lengths, meter, and rects, or left, middle and right. The active subharmonic mixture is displayed by a decimal point. These are selected by moving one's foot from left to right, like so. Following that, a preset selector, a button for saving, and a toggle switch to audition the selection. Lastly, four on-off switches, output gain pots, and output sockets. So let's audition the subharmonic series. Those of you with perfect pitch may find some of the odd-numbered intervals rather problematic, and there are reasons for this. I'll go into that later. Anyway, Starting at zero, we have silence, then subharmonics 1 to 32 go like this. Regarding the purpose of the side oscillator, Oscar Sala used this principally to create major intervals as the subharmonic series tends towards the minor. It can also be used to uh, make the instrument more equal tempered if you are playing with equal tempered instruments. Oscar Sala uh, very often though made a feature of this rather Pythagorean uh, sounding series. Anyway. Uh, if we use the subharmonics here that you see four and with the side oscillator three, we can create a major third, like so. The subharmonic generator is essentially a frequency divider such as is found on many synthesizers and usually labelled suboctave. Some have a second suboctave, which are the first two divisions. The generator extends the division process. The first vacuum tube version of the mixture tritonium, which dates from the late 1940s, had 20 divisions. The semiconductor version dating from the late 80s extended this to 24. This present modular version has 32. As was mentioned in the preceding presentation, these divisions form an inversion of the harmonics of a sawtooth waveform. The Greek mathematician Pythagoras proposed that the multiples of the overtone series has a mirror in the fractions of the subharmonic series, but it remained a theoretical concept until the 20th century. To the best of my knowledge, the tritonium is the first application of this theory in a musical instrument though it's worth mentioning that the New York violinist and composer Mari Kimura has developed a bowing technique that can produce subharmonics from a violin. So one can play three chords on a monophonic playing surface, but as already mentioned, it's important to understand that the intervals that form these chords are far from equal tempered with regard to the odd numbers in the series 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, etc. Here's a list of the frequencies produced by the divider in comparison with the notes of the equal tempered scale. The first four are congruent. From there they begin to diverge from equal temperament. If we start with number one at C7, 
by number 22, which is nominally an F sharp, but sharp by 4 to 9 cents, which is quite a margin. I included a list of these in the description below. I recall Sala describing this as a unique tuning system, but considering that these divergences will be different depending on the note played, it might be more appropriate to describe this as a tuning chaos. This doesn't make the Troutonium impossible to play, but one does have to make decisions about which subharmonics to choose when arranging chords for a piece. It's therefore somewhat ironic that the composer Paul Hindemith, who was a key figure in the origin and realisation of the instrument in his association with Troutvine, who patented this circuitry for the subharmonic generator in 1934, had this to say in his book The Craft of Musical Composition, published in the late 30s. Being of a curious disposition, and as fascinated by the repugnant as the beautiful, I could not resist the temptation to construct a subharmonic waveform from discrete sine waves. The amplitude of the fundamental, or first subharmonic, is 1 to 1. The second subharmonic has an amplitude of 1 to 2, half the strength of the fundamental. The third subharmonic will be 1 to 3, a third of the strength, and so on. Here goes. You've been warned. These subharmonics can be combined in various ways, for playing a piano-like accompaniment, bass note and chords. Here the left pedal position is number 12, the middle 4 and 5, and the right are 3 and 4. They can also be used in solo playing to transpose when playing scales or arpeggios. In this example, the left is 4, the middle 3, and the right 2. You can see other examples in other videos on this channel, and of course many virtuosic examples from Sala himself on Troutonist's channel.